Today, we're going on a great green adventure. It's going to be so much fun. And along the way, we're gonna be on the lookout for some special puzzle pieces that will help us learn about a few things we can do to help keep our Earth super healthy. Come on, let's go. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today I'm at Priest Point Park in Olympia, Washington. Whoa, and look at this place. Wow, there's some moss on this giant tree. Oh, look, here's some shrubs. Yeah, this is actually a fern. Wow, in this video, we are going to learn about keeping our planet happy and healthy. Woohoo! Wow, it's raining. <laughs> I love the rain. Wow, have you ever danced in the rain before? Woo, it's so fun. <laughs> yeah, our planet has so many different climates. And right now, I'm in a rainy forest. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, it's really pouring now. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Woo! Oh, geez, I love being in nature. Wow, it's such a great place to be. <laughs> Whoa, look at this massive tree. Whoa, it's bark. Feels so cool on my hands. Whoa, it's so textured. Whoa, that's really cool. Wow, I love plants. Trees, shrubs, flowers. <laughs> yeah, there's so many great plants because they provide us oxygen. Yeah, and other things like vegetables, fruit. <laughs> but it's not all about us enjoying nature. We need to give back as well. Yeah, have you ever planted a plant before? <laughs> yeah, it is so much fun. Digging in the dirt, planting the plant, watching it grow. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what is this? Do you see what I see? Yeah, this is a puzzle piece. Whoa, check it out. I love puzzles. <laughs> huh, look at it. I wonder if there's more puzzle pieces around here. Will you help me look? Hey, it's our first puzzle piece on a great green adventure. And our first step in learning how to keep the earth healthy. Step number one is to clean up. Cleaning up helps get rid of pollution. Pollution is when you make the land, water, or air dirty. So by cleaning up, we're getting rid of pollution, and that's good for our Earth. <laughs> yeah! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo! The Blippi Cleanup Crew is here to party! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to make sure this place is nice, clean, and tidy. Yeah, it's really good for our planet to make sure that it's clean and tidy. All right, first thing we need is our cleanup gloves. And there is the first glove. And here is our second glove. Hey, what color are these? Yeah, the color blue. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's see if we can find some trash. Hmm, let's see. Looks like a bunch of leaves and grass yeah, and soil. That's all good. <laughs> all right. Hmm, do you see any? I'm not seeing any. Oh, you see some? Oh, down there? Oh, yeah, we found some trash. Well, when this is here and it's not supposed to be here, it's called littering, and littering is bad. And that makes me angry. But you and I are here to help. All right, first let's pick it up yeah, and put it in here. But do you know what this is? Yeah, this is paper. And paper, we can actually recycle it. <laughs> that means that we'll be able to reuse it later. <laughs> All right, see if we can find some more. Oh, 
Oh, you see some more? Oh, down here? Wow, good find. Uh, it should not be here though. Uh, <laughs> but like I said, you and I are here to help. All right, let's see. What is this? Is it a musical instrument? <laughs> yep, it's a musical instrument. And it was also litter. <laughs> but hey, we can actually use this for later. And that's called recycling. And this can will be able to recycle. Do you see any? Oh, back there? Oh, yeah! We found another piece! Wow! Good job! We are doing such great work today! Whoa! And this is a plastic bottle! Oh, I wonder what was in here at one time. Who knows? <laughs> We're too busy. Gonna recycle this. Another thing to recycle! Yeah, we have found so many things in this park that we can recycle. Yep, and reuse. <laughs> and this. <laughs> this is a glass bottle. Yeah, glass is also recyclable. So let's put it in the bag <laughs> and use it for later. Yeah, and you know what this is? <laughs> A really loud plastic water bottle. <laughs> and water bottles that are plastic, you can recycle. Here we go. <laughs> Did you hear that? I stepped on an aluminum can. <laughs> an aluminum you can recycle. <laughs> so let's put it in here and let's recycle. Come on. Wow, check it out. Wow, four bins to put all the litter that we found. Yeah, into them so then we can recycle. All right, let's see what they read. This one says can, C-A-N, can. <laughs> this one says plastic, P-L-A-S-T-I-C, plastic. Glass, G-L-A-S-S, -S, glass. And last but not least, Paper, P-A-P-E-R, paper. Okay, now we need to take all the items that we just found and sort them so then they can be recycled. <laughs> all right, let's see. The first item that we found, oh yeah, you remember what this is? Let's see. Which one do you think it goes in? Cans? No. Plastic? No. Glass? No. Yeah! This is paper! Yeah! There you go! <laughs> All right, what else do we have in here? Let's close our eyes. Oh, yeah! The plastic water bottle! <laughs> All right, which one of these is for plastic? Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, plastic. <laughs> All right, 
here we go. Let's close our eyes. Wow, remember this? Yeah, the musical instrument. <laughs> All right, enough playing around. We need to clean up our planet. All right, what is this? Is it a can, plastic, glass, or paper? Yeah, it's a can. <laughs> All right, just a few more things. Whoa, check this out. Yeah, this clear bottle. It's really hard. Wow, I can't crush it, but it's pretty delicate. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is glass. All right, here we go. Yeah! We finished the first step on our great green adventure. Nice job cleaning up all that litter and recycling. Remember, recycling is when we take paper, plastic, glass, and cans and allow them to be turned into something else instead of thrown away. An easy thing we did to make the world a better place. All right, what else is in here? <gasps> Whoa, look at what we found. Another puzzle piece. Whoa, good job. We are doing so great today. Hey, what's on it? Hmm. Yeah, this is an electric car. Another piece of the Great Green Adventure Puzzle. Woohoo! Step number two. Let's check out an electric car. Electric cars are super cool because they run on electricity instead of gas. And that's great for our Earth. But before we do that, let's learn a little more about respecting our planet Earth, because it's our home. Look at the plants, look at the trees, all the beautiful colors, all the gorgeous leaves. Our Earth is green, our Earth is blue, protect its goodness for me and you. Our Earth is rare and we only get one, let's help it along, come on, it's fun! Respect the trees, they give us lots of air Respect the creatures, give them lots of care Respect the plants, cause they help us all to breathe Respect the water, the oceans and seas When we make a change, we'll see the worth We all have to help and respect our Earth Wow, what a beautiful day it is out here Oh. Whoa, check it out. Do you see what this is? Yeah, this is a red and white vehicle. <laughs> Looks like a small car or a truck. <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna meet someone really cool. That's Dave over there and he is awesome. He did something awesome. He took a gas powered vehicle and converted it to run on electricity. <laughs> I am so excited to meet Dave and check out his cool vehicle. Let's go. Wow, check it out. This little logo says E-V. Yeah, the two letters E-V stand for electric vehicle. Whoa, and these, <laughs> these little speakers, yeah, these are the horn. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. What a cool vehicle! Oh, hello! Wow, what a great interior! <laughs> oh, hey Dave, how are you? Hi, Felicity, how are you? Oh, good, thank you for showing us your cool vehicle. What's this? That's the battery. It's actually 48 batteries all connected together with these copper bars. Wow, you said it's 48 batteries all 48. connected? connected into one big battery. Wow. Hey, have you ever named this vehicle before? Yeah, it's Oh Sparky. Oh Sparky? Hey, yeah, this is this vehicle's name. Oh Sparky. O-S-P-A-R-K-Y. Oh, Oh Sparky. Is that because it runs on electricity? Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool name. Hey, 
Hey, if this is the battery, where's the motor at? The motor's up front. You want to see it? Yeah! All right. Wow! Whoa! Check it out! This is the motor of O Sparky. Can you tell us what all this stuff is? Well, this is a real big motor. And this is the, this is what brings the power from the battery to the motor. And this is the brains that tells this how much power the motor needs. Wow! That is really cool. Hey, can I drive O Sparky today? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah! Wow, check it out. Yeah, this is the charging cord of O-Sparky. All right, there we go. Yeah, you know how gasoline vehicles have a little area to fill it up with gasoline? Not this one. This one has a cable. Wow. And then this is how you charge the batteries. So first, you have to plug it in, just like that. And then you let it sit. In the meantime, let's check out the vehicle. Whoa, look at this! Yeah, flames! <laughs> wow, these flames are the color red. Yeah, just like this. Hey, and what color is this? White! Whoa, and look down here. Oh, some cute wheels and tires. <laughs> what color is the rubber on this tire? Yeah, it's the color black. And the wheel is white, and the lug nuts are red. Wow! Hey, and a little mirror right here. Hello! Hey! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! And then we saw this earlier. This is where the batteries of Osparky are. Wow! And this is actually wood. Whoa! <laughs> well, I think we should hop on the inside and check it out! Woohoo! Let's check out the inside of the super rad vehicle. <laughs> All right, first things first. Yeah, safety first. That's why I'm gonna put on my seatbelt. There we go, tighten it up. Perfect. All right, check this out. This is the steering wheel. And in the center of the steering wheel, we have the horn. Listen. <laughs> So silly. All right, down here we have some foot pedals. This, yeah, that is the throttle. This is the brake. And the left one is the clutch. But you don't use that in this vehicle. <laughs> All right, and right here, this is the parking brake. Okay, here we go. Whoa, do you see how I'm moving? Whoa, okay, I put my foot on the brake because as soon as I release this, and didn't have my foot down there. Then we started to roll. <laughs> okay, this is how you go forward, and that is how you go backward. Whoa, <laughs> that is really cool. And then, just like a normal vehicle, we have a key down here. Wow, and this is to change the gears. There's only two gears in this vehicle. <laughs> Wow, this is such a really cool vehicle. We finished step number two on our great green adventure. That electric car is good for the environment and definitely helps with pollution. <laughs> hey, that was fun. 
Whoa! What was that? Whoa! Yeah! A puzzle piece! Whoa! And this puzzle piece has seeds on it. Whoa! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Let's add it to our great green adventure puzzle. Step number three on our adventure. Let's learn about seeds and plants. Did you know that plants come from little itty bitty baby seeds? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Then they grow into big and tall plants that help make the oxygen we breathe. <sighs> so plants are really important to a healthy earth. Let's go check some out. nursery in Seattle, Washington. And this place is so awesome. There are so many plants here and plants are great for our planet. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a clay pot. Whoa, that's a really big pot. And this is what you can plant some plants in. Hello. <laughs> All right, put that back right there. Wow, I love all these plants. They're so colorful. Hey, what color is this plant? Yeah, it's the color green. Whoa, hey, and check out this. This is a flower. Do you see what color that flower is? Yeah, it's kind of like a pinkish, light purple. Let's just call it pink with white. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at all of these. I love plants because they bring so much great oxygen to our planet. Oh, hey, these are edible plants. That means you can eat them. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> There's a lot of herbs here, like this. Check it out. That's parsley. Yeah, you've probably had that in some of your food before. And then some cilantro. Oh, looks like a little animal ate some last night. <laughs> wow. Oh, and look at that. Looks like we have some mint. Mm. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Smells minty fresh. <laughs> hey. Wow. Looks like we have some vines. Vines are cool because. They grow up, yeah, and around, and they grab onto things. Wow, look at it. You see how tall this plant is? It's because it's wrapping itself around these pieces of wood. That is really cool. <laughs> what a smart plant. Looks like we have some sweet box. Sweet box. Yeah, sweet box is a great plant for hummingbirds. They love to eat this plant. Yeah, well, the nectar at least. <laughs> and did you know hummingbirds can flap their wings so fast? Oh, look, there's a person. Hey, hi. Who are you? My name's Katie. Oh, nice what to meet you, Katie. Yeah. I'm Flippy. I what, what are these? These are evergreen trees. Whoa. That means they keep their leaves or needles all year long. Wow. What lucky trees. Well, hey, I have a question. Do you know any place around here that I can plant some plants? I do. Follow me. All right. Here you go, Flippy. Here's a great place to plant some plants. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what you're doing? Yep, I think I got it. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> Have fun. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. Okay, so it looks like we have all the things that we need to plant some plants. Looks like we have a lot of soil. Whoa, wee. <laughs> yeah, and this soil is packed full of organic nutrients. Wee. <laughs> Whoa, soil is so fun. I love adding water and then it gets all muddy and it's so fun to splash and play in. But today, we're planting plants. <laughs> okay, and then we have a little container. Yeah! And then what we need to do is put some soil in the container. 
And then after we put the seeds, oh, there they are, the seeds in the soil, then we water them and then sun goes on it and then the plants will grow. Okay, so let's do that now. First, let's put on our gloves. One glove on, two gloves on. So now I won't get dirty. <laughs> All right, put that over there. <laughs> All right, let's take our container and fill it up with soil. There we go. Three scoops filled up this container. All right, now let's pack it down just slightly. There we go. Actually, let's add a little bit more. All right, so now what we're gonna do are take these seeds and put them in the holes that we poke in there, okay? But for this, I'm gonna use my hand. So let's poke one hole. Two hole, three holes. There we go. Perfect. And now, check this out. These seeds are so small. You see how small those are? Wow! It is so crazy to think that these little seeds will grow into plants. There we go. Now, Cover up the holes. Perfect. Now that there's seeds in there, covered up nice and gently, now we get to water it. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> wow. Now, have you ever wondered what seeds we just planted? Yeah. I didn't tell you, did I? <laughs> yeah, we actually planted lavender seeds. Oh, hey, check it out. And when those seeds grow up to get bigger, this is what they're gonna look like. This is a lavender plant. Whoa, smells so good, you can eat it. And when it's spring and summertime, it blooms into a beautiful plant like this. Whoa, I am so excited. Hey, good job. <laughs> Step number three on our great green adventure. Check. Our little plant will give the world some much needed oxygen that we breathe every day. <sighs> great job. Woohoo! That was so much fun planting those seeds. <laughs> well, hey, I think we should find some plants that we could go plant in the wilderness and then we'll make our earth even prettier. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, hey. This area is called the native plants area. Yeah, all of these plants are perfect for planting around here. Yeah, which are plants that are native to where we're at right now. Wow, these look so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the last puzzle piece. This is a picture of the sun. This is awesome. This is the last thing that we need in order for all these plants to grow big and healthy. Water, soil, and sun. The final piece of our great green adventure puzzle. Awesome. Step number four on our adventure is learning how to help our plants grow. By giving our plants room to grow, their roots can spread and get even bigger. With the right amount of soil, water, and sunlight, they'll grow up and get nice and strong. Happy, healthy plants will make for a happy, healthy earth. Let's grab one of these. Hey, this looks pretty perfect. This is a fern. Wow, this fern is great. Whoa, 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 check this out. Yeah, my two favorite colors. A blue flower. Oh, and that's kind of orange. Whoa, I think we should totally take these as well and plant them. <laughs> yeah, good job. Right here on earth, we have all we need. Our friend, our home, we plant the seed. From the air we breathe, to the water we drink, to the land we live on, really makes you think. 
From the mountains high to way down below, we all share the earth. Now it's time you know! Respect the trees, they give us lots of air. Respect the creatures, give them lots of care. Respect the plants, cause they help us all to breathe. Respect the water, the oceans and seas. When we make a change, we'll see the worth. We all have to help and respect our Earth. Whoa! That was a big hill. And what I'm doing is taking all of these items up to the top of the hill, so then we can plant the plants. <laughs> hey, let's check out wh what I brought up here. Yep, I brought my gardening gloves. <laughs> Looks like I brought my big shovel. Yeah, so we can dig in the dirt, so then we can put our plant that we brought from the nursery into the hole. And this is a fern, and this fern is native to this area. So it's gonna thrive in this environment. <laughs> Ooh, a little hand shovel. Whoa. And then the two cute flowers. So cute. <laughs> oh, can't forget about the wheelbarrow. Wow. Hey, and some water. Yes, yeah, so we can plant. Ooh, so we can water the plant after we plant it. Oh, and last but not least, yeah, mulch. Whoa, check it out. Mulch is actually just chopped up pieces of bark. Yeah, check that out. Bark and wood and plants. Yeah, it actually provides nutrients to the soil. And also, it helps make sure the soil maintains its moisture. <laughs> okay, let's get to planting. Do you see this tree? Oh, what a cute little tree this is. <laughs> hey tree, how are you? Thank you for being you. But hey, this is a young tree and it's really small. But check this out. Whoa, when it grows up, it's gonna be really big like that tree. Wow, I love trees. They're so great for our planet. All right, let's see here. Oh. All right, okay, first thing we need to do is find a great place for our fern. Let's see, how about right here? All right, here we go. All right, so what I'm doing is making sure I dig a hole that's about two times the size of the fern's pot. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That looks real good. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm about to get really messy, so let me put on my gloves. I probably could have put the gloves on before I used the shovel, but that's okay. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Let's take this fern are you ready to be in your new home, Fern? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be very careful and flip it upside down. Shake it. There we go. And then I'm gonna place it nice and gently right here and put the soil back. There we go. See how I'm putting the soil all around the edges and the sides? Perfect. Wow, and I'm breaking up all the big clumps. Whoa, this fern is gonna grow up to be really big and strong. Perfect. Let's scoop up a few scoops of mulch. Put it in our little planter bucket. And what we're gonna do is put this on top of the soil, all around the fern. There we go. Perfect, wow, let's get a few more scoops. Wow, 
This is awesome! Good job! I love planting plants. Like I said, it's really good for our planet to be able to plant plants. <laughs> and since this is a native plant, like I said earlier, it's gonna thrive around here. But hey, what else do we need to do? Yeah, we need to water it. All right, Ooh, here we go. All right, here we go. Here you go. Woohoohoo! There we go. That's a good amount of water for now. But since it's a native plant, yeah, the rain around here is gonna provide a lot of water, so we don't have to come out here every day to water it. <laughs> Let's put these two plants around here. <sighs> so then, it looks nice and pretty. Wow, how does it look? <laughs> yeah, I think it looks so good, we should probably take some photos. All right, I have a fun game. First, we're gonna act like three different things. Seed, stem, and flower. Ready? First, act like a seed. Oh, get nice and small. <laughs> now act like a stem. Oh, and now act like a flower. Yeah! All right, here we go. Yeah! Seed, stem, Flower, seed, stem, flower, stem, seed, flower. The last step on our great green adventure, check. We gave our new friends soil, water, and sunlight that they needed to grow big and strong. And more plants is always great for the earth. Great job, <laughs> yay! Woo! <laughs> have you had fun today? Yeah, I sure have had a lot of fun with you as well. Yeah, we found a lot of puzzle pieces. Whoa! I love puzzles. They're so challenging. <laughs> hey, let's go over the four puzzle pieces that we found today. Puzzle piece number one taught us to clean up and recycle. Cleaning up and recycling helps things to grow and gets rid of pollution. And that's really healthy for our Earth. Puzzle piece number two took us to O oh Sparky and taught us about electric cars. Remember, they use electricity instead of gas, and that's good for the environment because they don't create as much pollution. Plus, he was such a cute little car. Beep, beep. Puzzle piece number three was all those little tiny seeds. Remember them? We visited the different plants at the nursery and even learned how those tiny seeds grow to become adult plants and flowers that give our air some clean oxygen. And finally, puzzle piece number four taught us what our plants need to grow big and strong. When there are more plants in the world, there are more homes for animals, more food to enjoy, and cleaner air for us to breathe. <sighs> Great job. Okay, I have an idea. Why don't I try and put all these puzzle pieces together and see what it looks like? Huh, there's two. All right, there's three. Wow, we have four puzzle pieces all put together. Hey, what shape is this? Yeah, it's a circle. Whoa, and look at what we made. Yeah, a puzzle of our planet Earth. Hey, and all four of these things on these puzzle pieces are just a few ways that we can make our planet a healthier, happier place. Whoa, I love our planet Earth, and I love you. Thank you so much for being my friend, and thank you so much for helping me, Blippi, make our planet a happier and healthier place. Woo! Walking through the forest, look at all the trees. They give us lots of air, what we need to breathe. Look at all the critters roaming on the ground They help carry the seeds to grow plants all around Flowers
flowers are a bloom and making lots of food for all the bugs and creatures, even me and you. We're singing the earth song. We're helping the planet. Together, together, we can make a change. We're singing the earth song. really far. Make sure to recycle paper, glass, and plastic. Taking care of the earth will make you feel fantastic. You can plant a tree or pick up some trash. Ask a friend for help, then it'll be a blast. We're singing the earth song. We're helping the planet. Together, together, we can make a change We're singing the earth song Come learn all about it Together, together It's time we start Let's do our part Let's do our part Let's do our part hanging out in this cardboard box. Check it out. It's like a bird. Whee! <laughs> oh, I have so many cardboard boxes around here. What are we to do with them? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we take a few of these cardboard boxes and make something out of them? <laughs> this is going to be fun. Just making a rocket ship out of these cardboard boxes. <laughs> I am using these scissors nice and safely to cut a giant window out of it. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> wow. Ooh, now I can sit inside it later. <laughs> then we can explore outer space. I am so excited. Okay, here we go. So now that I have my window, I can then put the cardboard box, well, used to be a box, now it's a rocket ship, up. And do you see this? This is a square. Yeah, but we actually need to make it a triangle. <laughs> so let's take our scissors. Yep, with your parents' grown up supervision, you can cut this nice and carefully. Okay, one side is done. And now we need to do the other side. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look at that! It used to be a square, but now it's a triangle. <laughs> okay, now we need some tape to then tape it to make the top of the rocket ship. Okay, here we go. Let's grab the tape. Pull off a big piece of tape. Whoa! All right, let's give it a little slice. Okay, there we go. Whoa! Okay, put that there. I love making things out of cardboard boxes. You can make so many things. Today we're making a rocket ship, but one time I made a monster truck, another time I made a dolphin, <laughs> and I named that dolphin, uh, what was that name? I think it was Dolphy. <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes the tape gets stuck, but 
That's okay. We got it. All right. There we go. Give it a little slice. And then, tape up the other side. Wow. Here we go. I am so excited to go into outer space. Have you ever seen the stars at night? Yeah, they're so bright. <laughs> and the moon? I love the moon. Have you noticed that the moon sometimes is a full moon? Yeah, sometimes it's a half moon. And sometimes it's a new moon. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's uh, give this a little twist. Now it's time to design our rocket ship. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. So the first step to design is to have a plan. So let's take this white piece of paper right here and let's draw the rocket ship. So the first thing you need to do is plan. Plan how the rocket ship is going to look. So let's draw the rocket ship. So we have a trapezoid over here, and then we have a big rectangle for the body of the rocket ship, and then we have a triangle for the cone of the rocket ship. And obviously, I want a lot of color. So first, let's take some orange. Perfect, I love orange. And then let's take some blue. So, let's color it in. I have a plan. I'm going to use colored paper for that. So I'm actually going to use this black marker to symbolize that these are pieces of paper. And we will do that later. All right. Oh, whoa. There's a lot of stars here. So let's actually, you know, make some stars right here. Yeah. Yeah, I love stars because you see them at nighttime when you look up in the sky and they twinkle. Yeah, kind of like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you know that song. I like that song too. Ooh, and yellow? Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow, our rocket ship is looking so good. All right, I think I have a really good idea. Let's take the color red because it's nice and bright, and spell my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy, perfect. All right, so that is the plan. Huh, looks like this triangle, the top of the rocket ship, yeah, we could color it. How about we color it, yeah, blue. I like blue. And we actually have a lot of blue paint on the here, so we can actually just use blue paint for this part. Wow, perfect. Whoa, I think if we can make this rocket ship in real life, it's gonna be so good. All right, here we go. All right, like I said, First thing we have to do is use the blue and orange colored paper to put on the side, just like this. So let's take the glue stick. Yeah, yep. Put a lot of glue right on the backs, just like that. Okay, there's two pieces. Okay. There's one. Here's the second piece. All right, there's one, two pieces of paper, and we got to do two more. Yeah, which will make one, two, three, four pieces of paper. I'm gonna put the glue on them right over here. Okay. Now we have four pieces. One, two, three, four. So let me finish the rest and then we'll see how many we have in total after I'm all done, all right?
Whoa! <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> well, sometimes if things fall apart, you just have to fix them. Okay, here we go. And after we fix this, then we can count all of the colors. So, let's take our tape. Alright, now the rocket booster is all fixed. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's count all of the colored pieces. Yeah, the blue and the orange pieces. Those are my two favorite colors. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what else did we have on our piece of paper over here of our initial plans of our rocket ship to go to outer space? We had stars. Yeah, remember? We had yellow stars. Yellow star. Wow, they're so bright and they twinkle just like the real thing. <laughs> okay, and let's put some blue stars on there. Can you think of anything that's the color blue? <laughs> My shirt. What about the big, vast blue ocean? <laughs> yeah, here's another blue star. Here we go. What about a purple star? Yeah, I like the color purple. Right there. And last but not least, another purple star. Right there. Perfect. That looks so cool. <laughs> All right. So, as you remember, we have to spell my name on it, because that's what was on the plans. But, before we do that, let's do the top of the rocket ship. Remember what color I said I was going to paint it? Yeah, the color blue! Okay, let's take some blue paint, and <laughs> my painter's palette. <laughs> I'm an artist! <laughs> And let's take a paintbrush. Ooh, I love painting. <laughs> okay, and let's squeeze some blue paint right on top. Whoa! 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 <laughs> That's so much fun. Okay, let's give it a little dab. Let's do some painting. Miss me, miss me. Go. Wow, this is such a pretty blue. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Have you ever used paints before? They're so fun. You can use a paintbrush and you can even use your fingers sometimes. We won't do that today, but that art technique is called finger painting. <laughs> There we go. How does that look? Do you like that? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's put this away. We need to stay nice and clean and organized. There we go. And remember the last thing we needed to do? We needed to spell someone's name. Oh yeah, my name, Blippi. Will you spell it with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. And do you remember what color? Yeah, the color red. Okay, so let's use a new paintbrush. Yep. And then we need to make sure we don't mix the red and the blue because then it won't be red anymore and it won't be blue. Do you know what color you get when you mix blue and red? 
Yep, purple. But we're gonna keep them separate. <laughs> so let's take this cap off. Oh, there is so much paint in here. And I like to use a lot of paint. Whoa! There we go. Whee! <laughs> wow. A little bit more. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. Let's uh. Before we paint it, we should probably lay it down sideways because we need to write my name, which is sideways. Yeah. There we go. Like that. That's how we write sideways. Okay. Let's take our paintbrush and let's put the letter B right here. All right, now that we have the letter B, the second letter is the letter L. Yeah, just like that. The third letter is an I. Ready? Okay, there we go. B L I. <laughs> you know the next letter. A P, yeah. B L I P. All right. B L I P P. Yeah, here we go. All right, one last letter. B L I P P I Blippi. Good job! <laughs> there we go. We just completed the rocket ship. So now we gotta get inside. Oh no! Do you see what I did? <laughs> we were so silly! <laughs> Check this out. The window is right there! Yeah! That means we have to twist it this way. See? And now, my name is upside down! <laughs> That's okay though. We're gonna fly through outer space in this new cardboard rocket ship. I am so excited. With my name being upside down. <laughs> so silly. Are you ready? Because I sure am. Here we go! Hey! I love outer space! Good job building the rocket ship with me! Now that we're in outer space, I think we should explore our solar system and learn all about it! Alright, here we go! That is our sun, and its name is called the sun. <laughs> How original. Our sun provides all the light in our solar system. And that light takes eight minutes to go from the sun to our planet Earth. And the sun is so big, there's 1.3 million Earths that can fit inside of it. Wow, that's a lot of Earths. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Outer space is so much fun! Oh, look at that planet! That planet is Mercury. Wow, that planet is really rocky. And it, there's so many craters on it. And actually, since it's the closest planet to the sun, one rotation around the sun is super fast. It's only about 88 days on Earth. <laughs> Mercury is awesome! Woohoo! Woohoo! Ha ha! Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Now we're at another planet. Look at that planet. That planet is the planet Venus. And it is so hot. It's the hottest planet. Woo! It's getting hot in here! <laughs> the planet has so many volcanoes on it! And it's actually really bright. If you look up in the sky from our planet Earth, you can actually see it without a telescope! 
Wow! <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! <laughs> this has been awesome! <gasps> Whoa! Is that you right there? I think I see you! Hey, that's planet Earth. That's where you and I live. Wow, what a beautiful planet! There's so much water there, and then there's a lot of trees and mountains. Whoa! And our planet Earth? Yeah, we have one moon! Let's head there now! sent robots and rovers to Mars. That is awesome! Us humans have yet to land on Mars ourselves, but maybe someday soon, maybe you'll be the astronaut! Yeah! Here we go! our planet Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you see that big red dot? That is a storm. Whoa, that's a big storm. And Jupiter actually has 79 moons. <gasps> that's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> our planet Saturn. Whoa, what are those? Those are Saturn's rings. Wow, there's so much dust, ice, and rocks that form those to make up those rings. Wow, what a cool looking planet. All right, Saturn, see you later. Bye-bye. Uranus. Yeah, what a cool planet. Wow, it's kind of blue looking, huh? Yeah, that's because there's so much ice on it. It's known as the Big Ice Planet. Whoa, it has 13 rings and 27 moons. All right, see you later, Uranus. Bye-bye. <laughs> planet is the planet Neptune. It's so dark, cold, and windy on that planet. Oh, let's get out of here. The last planet of our solar system. Look at it. It's really small. That is Pluto. It's so small, it's a dwarf planet. Wow, and it's really cold. I love Pluto. <laughs> it's really chilly out here, though. Let's turn around and count all of the planets, shall we? about all of the planets in our solar system together. Hey, I think we should count all of them. Okay, the sun isn't a planet, so let's count the planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh wait a second, eight, nine? Ah. Who knows? Some people say Pluto's not a planet, but I don't know. It's all up in the air right now. Or, or outer space. <laughs> so silly. Eight or nine. We'll keep it at that. Okay, now let's name the planets. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, 
Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Wow, good job. All right, well, I should probably get going now. Maybe we'll go and explore another solar system someday. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi. I have all of my camping gear because today you and I are going camping. Whoa, I love the outdoors. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's so many plants and stumps and trees. Whoa, look at this. An insect. That looks like a caterpillar. Whoa, hello, caterpillar. <laughs> all right, we should probably keep going so we can get to our campsite before dark. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this beautiful plant. See this? This is a fern. Wow, look at it. It's the color green. Hey, and here's a tree back here. Oh, excuse me, fern. Look, right here, this is a tree. Yeah, you know what a tree is. There's some bark on it and also, some moss. Look how tall the tree is. It's a lot taller than me, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find here. Wow. Hey, look, another insect. Hello. That looks like a dragonfly. Hello, dragonfly. How are you doing today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's continue on. <laughs> Oh, 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 look! <laughs> a spider! Hey, spider! Are you having a good day? Here, I'm gonna move you right over here so then I don't step on you. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We have some more insects. What kind of insects are these? These are praying mantises. Wow. They are so cool. Look, this is what they look like. Hello, I'm a praying mantis, hi. <laughs> okay, Whew. I think we're almost there. I'm getting a little tired. Whoa, check it out. This looks like the perfect campsite. Wow, all right, let's go over here and then take off all of our equipment. There we go, there we go. Oh, I think I need some water. <laughs> all right, I'm just unpacking all of my camping gear. Yeah, oh, can't forget the marshmallows. Yeah, this is for the s'mores later. Ooh and the graham crackers, ooh, and the chocolate. Have you ever had a s'more before? S'more before, <laughs> that rhymes, that's silly. Ooh, and my s'more roaster, <laughs> ooh, and my coloring book, so then I can color in the tent later. This is gonna be fun. All right, what else do we have here? Well, we have our water right here. You definitely need to bring water. Yeah, so then you can hydrate. Mmm, yum, I love water. Ooh, I have my orange sleeping bag. <laughs> this is gonna be so cozy. <laughs> Ooh, and a blue chair. I'm gonna set this up later next to the fire so then I can enjoy watching the fire and so I can roast my s'mores. <laughs> okay, all right, we have a pair of binoculars. Whoa, look at them. This is so then you can see things from far away, like birds. Whoa, there's one right there. <laughs> Hello, birdie. Hello. <laughs> All right, set those down right here. Ooh, and a lantern. Check this out. 
Whoa, it's a really bright light so then at night you can see when it gets dark. And a giant one gallon thing of water. So then when I'm ready to go to bed, I can put it on the fire. So then we don't start any forest fires. That would be really bad. Oh, yep, my camping stick. <laughs> yep, you saw that later. Helps me with my balance while I'm walking through the trails. And last but not least, my tent. Yeah, it's like your house, but when you're in the wilderness, yeah, you need a place to sleep, right? Yeah, all right, let's open it up. I think I should pitch the tent. All right, here we go. It's like a puzzle. Whoa! This goes from one end to the other. And then I have another one of these. Now for the fun part. You raise the tent. Are you ready? How does it look? Looks really good, huh? Now we can sleep inside. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I forgot to take off my shoes. <laughs> yeah, you take off your shoes before you get in the tent. So then you don't track in any dirt. All right, let's zip it up. Whoa, <laughs> this is so much fun. Okay, a uh, coloring book I'll put right here. First, I need to take out my sleeping bag. Yeah, my orange sleeping bag. Whoa. 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 <laughs> okay, put that right over there. And then, here we go. Wow. The sleeping bags are really comfortable. Yeah. They keep you nice and warm at night, and it's really cold. Okay, here we go. We'll get inside. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> See? <laughs> I'll stay nice and warm tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, I have something fun to do. I think we could color. I have some coloring crayons right here. Yeah, I love coloring when I go camping because coloring is something fun that you can do because it's creative. It's really great. Have you ever colored? Yeah, what about drew something original? Because this, you can color this tree. Yeah, look, Blippi, welcome to my tree house. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Yeah, you can color something that's already there, or you can find a blank page, and then you can draw something original, like blue, one, two circles, and <laughs> a smiley face with a tongue. <laughs> okay, well, what are we doing in here? We're camping, there's so much fun things to do outside. I think we should go outside and play some hide and seek. What do you say? <laughs> Woohoohoohoo! I love playing hide and seek. <laughs> okay, to play hide and seek, one of us needs to hide and one of us needs to seek. Yeah, okay. I'll hide and you seek, all right? 
So, uh, alright, ready? Let's, uh, count to five and close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five! Hello? Do you see me? <laughs> Do you see me? Yeah! Hey! I'm right here! <laughs> Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was so much fun! Oh, this campfire is so nice! <laughs> well, anytime there's a campfire, you need to be very safe. Yeah, I made this campfire, and I'm actually a grown-up, if you didn't know. Children should never make their own campfire. And if there is a campfire, you should always have a grown-up around you. If they're not there, you should tell someone, Hey! Grown-ups! Someone should come near the campfire! <laughs> and hey, speaking of near the campfire, remember earlier I had this gallon of water? Yeah, it's about 3.8 liters. <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure you have water near a campfire just in case if it gets out of control, you can pour some water on the fire yeah, and put it out. But it's actually in a controlled environment. See this fire pit that I made it in? Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna catch anything on fire. And that's another thing. You wanna make sure there's no branches or, or leaves or anything above it or around it. Yeah. <laughs> so now that we have a safe campfire, I think it's a perfect time to make some s'mores. <laughs> Have you ever had a s'more before? They're so yummy! After a good healthy dinner, you can have a s'more. Here, check it out. So, we got some graham crackers. Yeah, and this is a rectangle. But you split it in half. And now, you have two squares. Yum! <laughs> okay, and then, you also have a cylinder. Yeah, that is a cylinder. See that shape? <laughs> but that's not what it's called. This is a marshmallow. And they're so yummy. <laughs> okay, I'll put that right there for now. Okay, actually, you know what? I should probably be a little bit more organized with this round white plate. <laughs> All right, then see this yummy chocolate? All right, that's the third and final ingredient of s'mores. I love chocolate. Yeah, and there's actually small rectangles. Do you see them? Yeah, small rectangles. And it actually makes a bigger rectangle when they're all connected. All right, the first thing you need to do is put your mallow, your marshmallow, on your stick. So then you do not hold it next to the fire. That would be really bad. You want to stay a safe distance away from the fire. Yeah, perfect. Wow. And then we're cooking the marshmallow. Whoa, it's turning golden. Whoa, it's almost done. Whoa, that is looking so great. Do you see that? Whoa, perfect. This is going to be so yummy. All right. Let's put it right on top of the chocolate, which the chocolate is on the gram, and then the malo, and then another gram. Slide it out. Oh, perfect. Do you see that? I call this Yummy, yummy, yummy s'more dessert. Nom, nom, nom. Ready? Mmm. 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 Yum. <laughs> I think this is the perfect time for the camping song. <laughs> Here it is, the perfect place to pitch our tent Beneath the stars in the mighty wilderness We'll start a fire, make some s'mores and sing some songs 
Hey, I know one. It's the camping song. Let's go camping. It's so much fun. We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt. Let's go camping and get some sun. Let's go camping cause it's so much fun. We'll go hiking and see all of nature's sights. We'll see some animals and bugs of every kind. Then we'll sit around the fire telling stories one by one. That's why camping is so much fun. Sing along! Let's go camping. It's so much fun. We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt. Let's go camping and get some sun. Let's go camping cause it's so much fun. We can go canoeing down the river stream. Row, row your boat. We can watch the birds fly above the trees. So much fun we can have throughout the day. But don't forget your mosquito spray. Let's go camping. It's so much fun. We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt. Let's go camping and get some sun. Let's go camping cause it's so much fun. Everybody sing. Let's go camping. It's so much fun. We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt. Let's go camping and get some sun. Let's go camping cause it's so much fun. are so yummy and camping is so much fun did you have a good day with me today yeah well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P P I Blippi good job all right I should probably put out the fire right now <laughs> yeah here we go! So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and today we're at Priest Point Park in Olympia, Washington, and I am going on a hike! I love hiking because you get to be out in the wilderness. Hey, speaking of hiking, I don't have a hiking stick. Maybe I could find one. Do you see one anywhere? Oh, hey, check it out. This is a perfect hiking stick. Amazing. It's so smooth. There's no bark on it. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to get any slivers with this stick. Wow, and look how unique this stick looks. There's a bunch of knots in it. Yeah, whoa, that's a really cool stick. All right, let's test it out. Ugh! Awesome, and it's really strong. <laughs> All right, let's continue hiking. Whoa, whoa, look down here. Look at what we found! Wow, do you see this? These are clam shells. Yeah, do you see them? Whoa! These used to be fully closed, just like this. And there used to be a clam inside. But now there's no clam. Where'd the clam, clam go? Wait a second. Do you see this? This is a clue. These are feathers. Yeah, look, bird feathers. Wait a second, I wonder if a bird was hanging out right here. Yeah, maybe it was having lunch. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna take one of these two feathers and put it in my bag and I'll show you something really cool later. And one clam shell. All right, let me put it in my bag and then We'll continue on. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, let's go! <laughs> oh, 
Gotta stay hydrated. Whoa, look at this plant. This plant is a fern. Wow, it's a beautiful plant. It's so cool looking. Oh, hey, it lost one of its limbs. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of leaves are on this. I have an idea. What if we keep this and use it for something really cool later? Let me put it in my bag, just like this. And then I'll show you later. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Oh, check it out! Whoa, an old tree! Yeah, this tree used to be vertical, and then it fell down! Whoa, and when trees fall down, they decompose, and they allow for a great opportunity for insects, yeah, and animals to have a home! Do you see it? Yeah, insects love to eat these type of trees. Yeah, because then it allows for nutrients to go in the ground. Whoa, hey, speaking of bugs, do you see this? Wow, that is a grasshopper. Hello, grasshopper. Hey, I have something really cool in my backpack. I have what are called bugnoculars. Let's see here. Bugnoculars are great to use to see bugs up close. So what we're gonna do is open them up. Here we go. <laughs> and then let the grasshopper jump inside. There you go. Jump. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Just get right in there. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. Wow. The grasshopper is inside now. So then if I close this up, I can look through the eyepiece. Whoa! And see it really close. Whoa! Check it out. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a beautiful little insect. <laughs> okay, we should probably let it back. All right, grasshopper. Go ahead. Oh, back to your home you go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put these back and continue on. <laughs> see you later. Oh, I am getting so tired on my hike. <laughs> when I breathe in, I breathe in oxygen. And I breathe out carbon dioxide. In oxygen, out carbon dioxide. But hey, check this out. All these plants and trees and bushes and shrubs, they breathe in carbon dioxide and they breathe out oxygen. They breathe in carbon dioxide and they breathe out oxygen. Isn't that cool? Yeah, we're the opposite of them. We breathe out carbon dioxide and that's what they breathe in. And then they breathe out oxygen. And we breathe in oxygen. <sighs> yeah, we are a great team. <laughs> hey, check it out. Do you see these? These are pine cones. How many pine cones do you see? One, two, three pine cones. Pine cones are so cool looking. Wow. Hey, chipmunks love pine cones because there's little seeds in there that they grab and then they eat. <laughs> pine cone seeds. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my bag for later. Yeah, for that special something that I was telling you about. <laughs> All right. Let's continue on. Woo, I spy something really cool. Let me tell you what it is. I spy a half of a tree. <laughs> Do 
Do you see it? Yeah, a half of a tree. Yeah! Check it out. This used to be a whole tree. Yeah, but now it's just a half of a tree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's cool. Hey, that was actually really fun. Yeah, I gotta see something, so I say, I spy it, and then you get a look and search and find it. Okay, I'll do another one. I spy something red. Do you see it? Oh, yeah! Look! Wow, it's a butterfly! A red butterfly. Whoa! Hey, red butterfly! How's your day going? <laughs> are you having fun just hanging around? <laughs> Butterflies are so beautiful. Wow, okay, we'll just let it be. All right, bye-bye, butterfly. Okay, we should probably get continuing on. <laughs> hey, check it out. I just found a really good tree to climb on. Whoa, Whee! You have to be very careful when you're climbing a tree. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What's that? <gasps> I spy something! <laughs> I spy the beach! Whoa! Whoa! I love the beach! Whoa! I love the sand! Yeah! And I also love the seagulls! Yeah! Wow, I really enjoy hanging out at the beach all day long. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a second. What is this? This isn't supposed to be here. This is garbage. Boo! Who left this here? I don't even know. I am so mad. This beach is home to so many critters, and it is our duty to keep Earth nice and clean. Yeah, would you want your home dirty? No, I sure wouldn't. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you and I clean up the beach? That sounds like fun. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. I have my garbage sack. Yeah, I'll put all the garbage in here. And then I have <laughs> my garbage grabbers. Yeah, it's like a claw. <laughs> All right, let's pick this piece up. All right, I'm using these grabbers because I definitely don't want to touch this. I have no idea where that was before. All right, <laughs> here we go. Okay, I see a shell that should be there. Oh, this should not be here. This looks like a soda can. Yeah, a pop can. All right, put it in there. Perfect. We collected two pieces of garbage. Wait a second. Here's another one. One, two, three. Our third piece of garbage. There we go. <laughs> I am so happy that we're cleaning up this beach. Here's another. One, two, three, four. The fourth piece of trash is in here. <gasps> two more. One, two, three, four, five. Right here. Yeah, six. We collected six pieces of trash. Good job, but we're not done yet. This beach is so dirty. Here's the last piece. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of trash. Good job. Whoa! That was so much fun cleaning up the beach with you. All right, I'm gonna put this in the trash can. Bye-bye, garbage. <laughs> Good job. Well. I should probably get my hiking stick back so then we can continue to hike. Woo! <laughs> Got it. I am now ready. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> that was so much fun.
fun today going on a hike with you. We learned so much. We got to learn about plants. We played some search and find. Yeah, I spy. That was a lot of fun. Hey, we even saw some insects. <laughs> yeah, and probably most importantly, we cleaned up the beach. <laughs> Good job. Hey, remember earlier that we found some things? Yeah, we found this fern. Yeah, I'm gonna show you something really cool with it very soon. And then we found this shell. Yeah. We found this pine cone. And we found this bird feather. Wow. <laughs> okay, we'll put that right there. Okay, well, this stick used to be a hiking stick that we used all day. That was great. But we're actually gonna turn it into what's called a journey stick. Yeah, indigenous people from different countries used to make what's called journey sticks. They would collect things on their hikes and their journeys, and then they would put them on their sticks in chronological order, so then they can remember where they've been. So let's do that now. So let's take this big fern, put it right there. I actually have some orange string. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it around. Okay. Perfect. Doesn't that look good? Whoa, pretty cool, huh? Okay. Wow. This looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a stick with a fern on it. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh yeah, we have the shell. That's gonna be tricky to put on there, but I think we can do it. There it is. You see that? Yeah, this is looking awesome. And then we have this pine cone and I'll put right below that shell, just like that. And then I'm gonna loop this around so then it'll hold on to it. Ooh, all right, we are almost done. See, we have the fern, the shell, the pine cone, and last but not least, the feather. Okay, I'm gonna put it right up top, right there. See that? <laughs> All right, check it out. How does this look? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. I had so much fun learning with you. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> all right. See you soon. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Blippi. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And I'm just reading this really cool book. Yeah, it's called Penguins Love Colors by Sarah Aspinall. <laughs> it's about all these penguins that have a different favorite color. Green, blue, violet, red, orange, and yellow. Whoa, I love this book. Whoa, check this page out. Yeah, it looks like a garden. There's so many flowers and so many colors. Whoa, even a rainbow. Hey, rainbow plus garden equals rainbow garden. <laughs> Hi, Blippi. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Sarah Aspinall. <gasps> Sarah Aspinall? Wait a second. <gasps> like the author and the illustrator of this book? That's me. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> Would you like to make a rainbow garden of your very own, Blippi? 
Yeah, I think that would be so much fun. Well, come this way. I've got all of the things you need. Ooh, all right. Here is a box full of lots of fun art surprises for you to have your very own art adventure. Wow. Well, thank you so much. And we are very excited to make our very own rainbow garden. Have so much fun, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye. <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> yeah, I sure am. Let's do this. Whoa. <laughs> all right, let's find all the things that we need inside this box. Whoa, yay. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. It looks like we have a white palette. Okay, that right there. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. An apron. Yeah, green apron. It actually has a lot of paint on it. I'll set that right over here and we'll put that on before we start using all of the paints. Whoa. Hey, a sponge. <laughs> okay, put the sponge right there. Ooh, a salad spinner. Whoa, I know what this is used for. I'll show you really soon. Okay, and we have some scissors, a little paintbrush. <laughs> And of course, a lot of paint. <laughs> all right, I think that's all. Let's see. <laughs> yep, that's all. Okay, let's put on this apron so then I don't get dirty. All right, here we go. Tie it nice and tight. Perfect, there we go, all right. Okay, let's organize a little bit. Whee! <laughs> All righty. Okay, so we have our paint over there. Salad spinner right there. Big piece of white paper. Little teeny paintbrush. <laughs> Put that in there. Ooh, can't forget about the book. So then we can reference what we're making. How about that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, remember? We're making this picture. A rainbow garden. All right. So, first, we need to make a big piece of paper of rainbow colors. So, let's take a little bit of red and a paintbrush. We're gonna put it on the sponge, okay? So, let's actually just squirt it right here. Okay, and now that we have a lot of red right there, we need to do all the other colors. But I actually have an idea. I think I should use this palette and fill it up. Might make it a lot easier. Perfect. <laughs> okay, now let's take the paintbrush. All right, and let's put some orange right here. Yeah, so now we have red and then orange. Need to wash off our brush. <laughs> Perfect. And we need some yellow right here. Wow. <laughs> yellow is so pretty. It's like the color of the sun. Okay, lots of yellow right there. Now we need some green. Okay. Whoa. Green. Perfect. After green, we need some blue. Yeah, perfect. Good amount of blue right there. Do you see this? We're almost done. And now we need some violet or purple. They're very similar in looks. Wow. There we go. How does that look? <laughs> yeah, like a rainbow. All right, now for the fun part. Push it down right here. Yeah! Whoa! Look at that! Wow! Yeah! And you do that same thing many times in a row, all the way down. So I'll do that now. Whoa! That is so beautiful! Check it out! Whoa! Okay, I'm actually gonna set this over to the side so it can dry. It's a little wet still. Perfect. Okay. Now what we need to do is take this salad spinner 
Yeah, you normally put salad, kale, romaine, lettuce inside here, and you spin it around. <laughs> and it flings all the water off of it. But today, what we're gonna do is we have a white piece of paper right there, and we get to put some colors in here, and then spin it, and then it pushes all the paint off to the edges. Okay, ready? We'll put some yellow. Yeah, that looks really good. And then how about we put some orange. I love orange. Yeah, just like that. Wow, yellow and orange. <laughs> and how about a few drops of red? Yeah, how about that? Just a couple. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, now let's put the top on. Now it's all sealed. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. I just spun it so fast. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. Whoa, wow, that is amazing. We just made that by spinning this around really quick. Okay, it's pretty wet, so let me put it off to the side so then it can dry. Okay, now that I put that off to the side to dry, the original rainbow is probably ready to use. So let me get it. Yep, it's nice and dry. <laughs> all right, so now what we need to do, let me organize this paint. I don't want it to get all over me now that we're all done painting. So what we're actually gonna do is take this and make a little squiggly line while we cut. Ready? Yeah, just like this. Oh, kind of like a worm. Worms squiggle around. <laughs> or a caterpillar, or a snake. You see this? Yeah, check that out. <laughs> okay, now what I need is a white piece of paper. I have one right on the ground over here, and then I put it on the top. Do you see that? Yeah, it's like a rainbow, just like in Sarah's picture. So, let me get some glue right over here. All right, now that I have this glue, I can glue it down. All right. <laughs> have you ever used a glue stick before? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's not all liquidy like the normal type of glue. This is a glue stick. You just kind of like color it on. But it's no color, you know, like as if you're coloring. Yeah, there's no color to it, it's clear. Perfect. Wow, this looks amazing. You and I are doing a really good job. All right, next step is to take this, remember, the rainbow, and cut out some stems and grass from the other side. I'm gonna set this down right over here, so then I can start cutting. Okay. Let's cut a nice long stem. Yeah, just like that. It's like a really thin, long rectangle. Perfect. Let me do another one. Yeah, I'll start with two. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. There we go. We have two long rectangles. Yeah, one, two. And these are gonna be the flower stems. Okay, put them right under there. Perfect. Now we need some blades of grass. So what we're gonna do is some triangles. Just like that. Some nice, tall blades of grass. <laughs> As if you might need to mow your lawn. <laughs> yeah, and these blades of grass I'm cutting, yeah, are triangles, just like I said. <laughs> Whoa, how does that look? Do you like that blade of grass? 
I sure do. All right, put those right here. I'm gonna set this aside and grab my piece of art that had the rainbow on the top, and then, here we go, I'm gonna be able to put these on the bottom. And I'll actually cut some more. But let me flip this around and take my glue stick again. <laughs> Whoa. One right in the center. How about one to the side a little bit, huh? Yeah, there we go. I love doing art. Yeah, how does that look? <laughs> yeah, and we'll do the blades of grass too. It's so colorful. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Looks like I need to cut some more and then glue it all down. So let me grab the piece of paper and I'll cut a bunch, all right? <laughs> Whoa! Check it out. All right. I did all the blades of grass and all of the flower stems. <laughs> now we need to do the tops of the flowers. So, remember earlier we did the salad spinners? Yeah! Look at all these other ones that I have. <laughs> okay, so let's cut them up so then we can use them for the flower petals. Let's do a half circle. Yeah, like that. How about that? And then we can also do yeah, something really big because this one is gonna be a very big flower. Yeah, perfect. How's that look? All right, and then we need some leaves on this one. So let's go like this. Yeah. And, perfect. Yeah, just like that. And then we can start gluing them down and making our flowers. So, let's go like this. How does this look? Yeah, that's a beautiful flower. I love the smell of flowers. <laughs> and then, this one will be another flower. Yeah, and a stem. Okay, let's do a, actually, not a stem. A leaf, we already have the stems right there. So a leaf right there, right in the center. Okay, I'm gonna cut some more and continue to glue them down. <laughs> Here I go. All right, last but not least, <laughs> let's put the center of the flower. Yeah, that's like where all the pollen is. <laughs> all right, how does that look? Wow. We made our very own rainbow garden. Wow, what a beautiful picture. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thank you so much for learning about all the colors of the rainbow today with me and about flowers. And also that amazing book about penguins by Sarah. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, I'm gonna go frame this and put this in my tree house. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs>